On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, tricks for using messages in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to leave your question or comment below the video. Now, if you're subscribed to the video podcast, which you can do by going to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe, uh, you might think, well, there's no good place to put it under the video, the video just shows up in my phone or on my computer. How, how, no problem, just go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash ctc screencast and leave your question under one of those. That's cool. So we're um, in the middle of going through some of the features of ProPresenter and as I was playing with the Messages tab not long ago, it occurred to me that I've made a couple of changes or I know a couple of things that maybe not everyone does. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look at those right now. Here we are in ProPresenter 6 and it occurred to me that I hadn't made something completely clear when it comes to one of the great new features of Messages and that is this. So let's click on the message. Uh, icon here. Uh, you can also go to view messages or that's the control symbol, control M and it'll take you to the same place. First thing you want to do is you want to click that and select the message and make sure that the one that we're dealing with is visible on the network. If you click on one of these others it won't do what we want it to do uh, if it's not visible on the network. So, what you want to do is click on the appropriate uh, message and then click this little computer icon, which you'll notice disappears when we hide the editing features here. And this shows you what will show up. So, what I would do is uh, the message itself is just a variable like in math. So I could change this to, um, will the parents of child, you know, what the message is, please come to the Kidman area. Okay, so that changes that and when we click on that again it should, let me drag this over here, show up right here and let's do one, two, three, four, five and you'll notice that it shows up with the entire message. Will the parents of child 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 please come to the Kidman area? And then when I send that, that shows up right up here. And I can either show it or dismiss it. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you um, something real quick about this. First off, I did leave out some spaces, so I wouldn't need to go back. In fact, let's do that right now. Um, let me actually dismiss this. Okay. And I'm going to add in some spaces to make this a little bit better. So we're going to add a space before please. And you'll notice there's no space after a child, so we're going to add that. I'll bring that over here.
and again this time the kid they're having trouble with is two three four five six and hit tab it previews it notice that there's a space there and a space there so that did fix it I hit send and that shows up there now when I hit here let me just kill this when I hit show now it shows up here now I the formatting is all wrong so you'll have to deal with that but that's what that does just makes it nice and easy to do nice and easy to deal with one thing that you might have noticed though and let's go to system preferences is that when I have my notification show up up here I have two choices I can show it now or I can dismiss it it doesn't automatically go away now how did I do that it's actually here in system preferences we're going to go to notifications right here and scroll down to ProPresenter 6 and you'll notice that I've got these three choices I've got none that's what you do not want selected unless you don't want to use this feature at all banners banners is the default way of doing this works okay but if you don't get it fast enough then it disappears completely and you have to go up here to the notification center or alerts now alerts I think is probably the best way to do this because that pops up as an alert and it will stay until you either dismiss it or use it so if it's not a good time during service but you know in 10 seconds you know what's 10 seconds gonna do generally speaking in 10 seconds you're gonna be fine or 30 seconds you're gonna be fine then you can go ahead and just wait uh, until the right time and then do it that way so that's the way that I would uh, suggest that you use it now while I'm in notification center let me show you something else because I had someone ask me this question and it occurred to me that without even thinking I had gone to this so while we're here in system preferences click on network and it should give you all your network uh, configurations Bluetooth Ethernet uh, in this case I have an iPhone USB setting but I'm using Wi-Fi so when I'm using Wi-Fi you'll notice that I have my IP address here this is my home network 192.168.0.195 so by default what we get uh, from ProPresenter is this address which I believe uses bonjour uh, or to use my high school French bonjour uh, to work so that may not work with Android phones or uh, Windows computers so instead of just copying this address and using that instead use the IP address so 195.168.0.195 now what was that let's take a look at it over here and let's see here it's in preferences did I do that let's go back to system preferences and network 192.168.0.195 okay so we'll go back over here dot zero dot one nine five and then colon the port number slash HTML slash messages so doing it that way this should show up exactly the same um, and it will uh, in fact look pretty much identical
So it'll be a pretty simple thing to do. So what you can do is from a tablet, I've got my iPhone here. First off, let's, because I just wanted to show you the test. So again, going back to messages, Oops. Again, I can drag the message itself right there. Okay. So now from the tablet, and I'll cut over to the video of that, I'm going to type T E S T and then send it. And that shows up right here. Again, my choice is dismiss or show now. I'm going to click show now and that replaces this other message and um, that's pretty much how we go about doing it. So that's a couple of little tricks to help the messages function work a little bit better in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that it's obvious now some of the other things that you can do to make the uh, new messages feature uh, additions even more useful to your church. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and pick up a church tech gift of your choosing along with a free subscription to my email newsletter. Also, while you're at trinitydigitalmedia.com, head over to my store. Remember, I provide this content free of charge for you, but if there are any resources that you need to train the people in your church on using technology or you want to go deeper yourself, then that's a great place to do it. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.